Item. SCP-848. Object Class. Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-848 is contained in a 10 meter x 10 meters x 5 meters isolation chamber, which is to contain several non-organic structures that may be used by SCP-848-1 specimens to construct SCP-848-2. SCP-848-1 specimens usually do not need to be fed, but if they are unable to feed for periods lasting greater than two weeks or begin to exhibit signs of malnutrition, harmless insects may be introduced to SCP-848's containment as food. SCP-848's chamber must be cleaned at least once per week and continuously monitored for the appearance of anomalous objects. In the case of hostile organisms, armed response teams may be deployed in full nuclear biological chemical, NBC. Precautions should be observed by all personnel when retrieving objects from SCP-848-2. Description. SCP-848-1 is a colony of Nephiloclavites golden silk orb weavers, aka banana spiders. Specimens of SCP-848-1 are approximately 15% larger and significantly stronger and faster than normal specimens of Nephila, but generally no more dangerous than a typical spider of the genus to humans and do not exhibit any particular hostility to humans in their containment. SCP-848-2 is the web created by SCP-848-1. As with normal enclavites, SCP-848-2 can be enormous and oftentimes reaches diameters of 5 meters or more. The silk used in the production of SCP-848-2 is somewhat stronger than is normal enclavites but otherwise appears normal in composition. Periodically, anomalous objects will be discovered ensnared in SCP-848-2. The frequency of these occurrences varies greatly but typically occurs from once per week to up to a dozen in one day. Recorded objects found in SCP-848-2 have included various flying insects typical to that of SCP-848-1's natural habitat. To date, over 300 recorded species of flies, moths, and other insects have been logged. Various flying insects that only exist in regions of the world where SCP-848-1 is not known to populate, including exotic deep rainforest insects. Various kinds of scraps of inanimate objects, including paper and plant detritus. Several species of flying insects not known to modern science. Several unidentified organisms that quickly asphyxiated when exposed to oxygen and may not be terrestrial in origin. Data expunged. Data expunged. Anomalous objects will appear on SCP-848-2 despite having no plausible explanation for their origin, leading to the belief that SCP-848-2 is able to catch objects from extraterrestrial or extra-dimensional locations. SCP-848-1 is able to feed on most insects found on SCP-848-2, and thus does not need to be regularly fed.